out of the garage, do a little bit of driving while I talk about my new Corvo Sportline RRX seats. Hey, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time joining me, thanks for dropping by. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to the 5,000 plus people who have subscribed to my channel. That, that's a huge milestone that I really honestly never thought I could achieve, much less so quickly. When I restarted my channel back in 2019, I had 490 subs, something like that. And it took about 18 months to go from 490 to 1,000. But then, to go from 1,000 to 5,000 subs only took 16 months. Thank you so very much. And if you're not one of my subscribers yet, please go down there, find that big shiny red subscribe button and give it a click. It doesn't cost a thing and it'll make you even better looking, I promise. install these new seats from Corvo. This is part three of my series on these seats. In part one, I discussed why I chose these particular seats and showed you how to remove the, uh, the stock seats. Now, one thing I did forget to mention in that video is that anytime you're working with seats that have an integrated airbag, uh, you really need to disconnect the battery from the car and let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes. Let any sort of residual electrical charge dissipate. If you, um, if you don't do that, there is a very, very tiny but very real chance that you will accidentally set off the airbags while you're working on the seat, which is a good way to ruin your day. In part two, I showed how I modified the seats a little bit to make them fit the Cayman better, and also how I transferred over the stock seat belt buckles from the old seats to these new ones, as well as configuring the seat correctly to accept the, uh, the lap belt from the new Schroth six-point harnesses that I also installed at the same time. For my final review, let's start with how they look. Aesthetically, the seats just look Great. The overall look and shape of the seats meshes well with the stock Cayman interior. The vinyl is a nice soft matte finish that, that basically does a good job of matching the, the leather in the stock Cayman interior. The, the leather on the steering wheel, the dash, the door cards, etc. In fact, if it weren't for the Corbo logo on the seat, a lot of people would believe that they were uh, an optional stock seat. Now, for street driving, the Corbo seats are a definite upgrade to stock. They are surprisingly far more comfortable than the stock, uh, the sport seats that I had that came in before. Although I would highly recommend getting the optional inflatable lumbar support to get the maximum comfort. On the track, though, is where the RRX seats really shine. They do a far better job than the stock seats of holding me in place during really hard work. comfortable driving. On the street, I like the, just the, uh, the seat in a more upright position. That's what I find most comfortable. However, on the track wearing a helmet, uh, the helmet is now between my head and the back of the seat and it pushes my head forward. It, it's just uncomfortable. So on the track, all I have to do though is adjust the seat back by a single notch and now it's 
very comfortable in it. I just, it feels really good. On a side note, I recently had the opportunity to ride in someone's track car that had fixed back racing buckets. And I gotta say, I, I didn't like it. They were, um, they were terribly uncomfortable. For one thing, they were just, they were really upright, which made the problem with the, uh, the head being pushed forward much, much worse. And overall, like I said, they were very uncomfortable. And the thing is that they actually didn't do all that great of a job of keeping me in place during hard cornering. I find that I'm much more comfortable and much more secure in the seat in my RRX seats. You are not seriously going to pull right out in front of me. Smash that like button. Let YouTube know that you enjoyed this video. It really helps me with growing the channel. And as I said before, if you're not one of my subscribers, go down there and click on that big shiny red subscribe button and join the channel today. And if you're a current subscriber, go down there and check that button. Make sure that it's still gray and that you're still subscribed. A surprising number of people have told me that they uh, discovered that they had been suddenly unsubscribed. So, so check that out. And finally, if you want to keep up with everything I'm doing on the game as part of Project 97.2, as well as a lot of other projects and stuff that are going on around the garage, go click on that bell icon. That turns on notifications for this channel, and that way YouTube will let you know whenever I post something new from about three miles down that way in Cliff's Garage. I'll see you next time.